Welcome back, everybody. This is part two of my Jay Buhner Top 30 Countdown. If you haven't seen part one, what the hell is wrong with you? Go do that, and then come back and continue watching this. For those of you who have already watched part one, we're going to continue right along. Coming in at number 15 is the 1997 Finest Silver Embossed Refractor. Kind of a cool card. I hope to get the gold someday. I've missed out on it multiple times. Kind of makes me cry in my Cheerios every time I miss, but eventually I will get there. Yes, I will. And number 14 is the 1999 Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor. This one is numbered out of 25. It's definitely a cool card, but it is missing a little something. And later on in the countdown, we will figure out exactly what that is. At number 13, a card that is missing absolutely nothing, is the 1999 Finest Gold Refractor. This one is numbered out of 100. It's got everything going on you could ask in a card. It's got a low serial number. It's got the badass die cutting all the way around the edge. It's got the sweet gold hue on an already cool card design. Just a badass card. I wish Jay had some of the subset cards. That way I could have more cards from that set in my collection, but unfortunately, he was not quite cool enough to make the subset cut. He wasn't sterling. At number 12 is the 1999 Metal Universe Precious Metal Gems. And you do not need to be Gollum to see how cool this card is. It's got fantastic shine. It's got the sweet brushed metal look on the background there. It's got the cool raised name. This one is numbered out of 50. Very cool design. Not quite as cool as the 1998 version, but still pretty badass in its own right. At number 11, I've got a trio of cards that kind of go together. It is the 1997 Pinnacle Certified Mirror Red, Gold, and Blue cards. Personally, I think the blue looks the best, probably just because he's got a blue helmet, blue on his jersey. I think if I collected a Cardinal, I would want the red. But very cool cards. And coming in at number 10 is one of the shiniest, sparkliest cards you're ever going to see. The 1998 Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor. Limited to 100 copies. In my opinion, the nicest atomic refractor they've ever done. And then earlier I mentioned the 99 Bowman Chrome Gold was missing something. And what it is missing is a cool background, which thankfully the international versions remedy. Not as rare, these ones are limited to 100 copies. I think they look just way nicer. And Jay Buhner's in particular, he got the cool little farm landscape courtesy of his Kentucky upbringing. And at number eight, in my opinion, the greatest, and I'll use air quotes here, refractor ever made. The 1998 Don Rust Prized Collections. This is the Don Rust Preferred version, a stated print run of 55 copies. 
I don't know if it's the added texture they put in with the lines or if they just nailed the refractor like finish better than anybody else but for my money refractors have never been done better than they were on that card and then at number seven is a pair of cards it is the 1998 EX Essential Credentials, Now and Future. About of 35 and 66. I think I prefer the future, which is this one here. Even though it's about twice as easy to come by, I think the purple colors just kind of pop a little more. And then number six, the 1998 Precious Metal Gems. Let's see if I can get it without the shine. You can see the mountains in the background there. Uh, it's not wanting to cooperate really, but man, look at that foil pattern. That is beautiful. They reused it on the 2000 SPX, um, I think it's Radiance. Let's see, out of 50. But as far as I know, that was the first card to utilize that foil. And it is stunning. We've made it, we've cracked the top five. And starting it off at number five is a trio of cards. The 1998 Don Rust Crusade Red, Purple, and Green with print runs of 250, 100, and 25. This is a fairly ambitious set spanning multiple products and is definitely one of the more sought after sets of that time frame. And coming in at number four three equally beautiful cards. The 1996 Select Certified Mirror Red. Mirror Blue. And Mirror Gold. Let's see if we can get those apart just enough to actually see all the cards in one shot. It's kind of cool. It had a stated print run of 30, 45, and 90 on the select mirrors. Obviously the gold is the big daddy. It's the only one that has a full color background. Kind of wish the blue one did as well, but I guess you can only do what you can do. Getting down to the best of the best, in my opinion. The top three cards, or as you're going to see, top three groups of cards in my J. Buhner collection. At number three is a trio of unreleased cards. The 1998 Pinnacle Certified Mirror Gold. Mirror Blue. And Mirror Red. And because of their bankruptcy, Pinnacle never actually released the set. But a few years ago, a full set and a full run of the mirrors popped up online. Um, I don't think anybody really knows how many of these got printed. So I assume there are fewer of these than the 96 mirrors. 
I imagine the print run would have been equal to those, but who knows what it actually ended up being. Then at number two, a one of one, the 1999 Ultimate Victory. I think this is the Ultimate Parallel. It might be the Ultimate Victory Parallel. Unfortunately, the natural light I had earlier has left my window. So I'm left with just my light above, and it's not quite as impressive, but it's still a striking card nonetheless. The patterns on it are kind of cool. Reminds me of an amoeba. But number one, my absolute favorite Jay Buhner card in my collection. I think it is my favorite of every card ever made, even if I had all of them. The 1999 Skybox Premium Star Rubies. This one is out of 50. This has some absolutely unreal colors. I am pretty certain if you were to take 50 different pictures from 50 different angles with 50 different light sources, you would get 50 completely different and unique and equally awesome pictures of this card. This thing is absolute perfection. The way the player kind of pops out from beyond the foil background, the way the background just kind of fades into the colors, even that sweet red facsimile signature, it is quite simply the perfect baseball card in my opinion. So there you are. I appreciate you tuning in and checking out my top 50 J. Buhner baseball cards. Take care.